A House committee just passed a bill to better monitor radiation and cancer rates around a former uranium plant in Piketon. Now, this move comes after Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan, who sponsored that bill, met with local elected leaders about concerns raised in Chief Investigative Reporter Dwayne Pullman's exclusive investigation. Well, tonight his investigation continues. This time, Dwayne reveals how a scientist is connecting some of that contamination to the demolition at the plant. At the center of the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant, or PORTS, workers are removing siding from a massive half-mile-long building known simply as the X-326. Jeff Walburn, who worked at the plant for 31 years, says dust from decades of enriching uranium for America's nuclear bombs has built up high on these rafters. There's 70 feet of contaminated material, it's going out, it's going to the four winds. Nearby, a 250-acre landfill is being carved out of the earth to dispose of demolition debris and radioactive waste. Neighbors like Josh and Elizabeth Lamerson, who live a half mile from the plant, are trying to stop it. Would you want to come here? Would you want to build a business? The landfill is a crucial part of a $2 billion cleanup at Ports, where debris from dozens of buildings and radioactive waste will be buried over the next two decades. The U.S. Department of Energy, or DOE, which oversees the complex, insists the demolition at Ports is safe, pointing to its own monitors as proof there's no harm posed by the work. But Dr. Michael Ketterer, a professor emeritus of chemistry and biochemistry at Northern Arizona University, examined what DOE's own air monitors reported and uncovered this. Big spikes for technetium-99, or Tech-99, a radioactive byproduct of nuclear reactors. As his graphs reveal, the amounts of Tech-99 from 2014 through 2016 were hundreds of times higher than detection limits at all the monitors, no matter how near or far from the plant. Those emissions were just skyrocketing and they then fell down rather abruptly in 2017. And Dr. Ketterer had no idea why, until he learned what was happening inside the plant. In this DOE internal demolition schedule, from 2014 to 2016, the same time that Tech 99 was spiking, crews inside the plant were cutting out converters and compressors, critical components in making enriched uranium. We're looking at Portsmouth. Dr. Ohio. David Minuta, the former chief scientist at Port, says that cutting is the likely source of the Tech 99 release. Does it coincide with what you would expect in cutting up pieces and parts in the plant? Yes in the 326 building where those cuts were made is very likely where the technetium containing gas concentrates. Dr. Ketterer believes the heat from that cutting released Tech 99 as a gas that traveled long distances, registering in high amounts, even at this monitor near the town of Otway, 14 miles to the southwest. Do you believe it spreads out much further than what it is? It has to, it's obvious. And that isn't the only connection between contamination and demolition that Dr. Ketterer found. He analyzed this batch of air filters that were collected in 2020, and this time he discovered this, a big drop in the amount of enriched uranium in the air from March until the end of June. That coincides with the shutdown at ports that happened during the height of the pandemic. According to this document, dated March 26, 2020, the Ohio EPA agreed to allow all work at the plant, which had slowed, to stop completely due to COVID-19. And in this internal memo, plan employees were notified that work, which had started up in June, would return to full force on July 27th. That pandemic pause at the plant from March to June matches that dramatic drop in enriched uranium in the air that Dr. Ketterer uncovered. It's just a mind bender that the connection of the dates to when we know COVID kind of started and the country shut down is when the emissions from the demolition activities appear to just abruptly stop. And just as clear, Dr. Ketterer's analysis reveals enriched uranium returned to the air when demolition work at the plant resumed. You tear it down and it goes wherever. 
The radiation results are upsetting to neighbors like the Lammersons, who are scared about what's being carried in the air. How scared are you? Very scared for our children. The Department of Energy continues to say the radiation around the plant is at safe levels, but DOE has yet to give me a response about what Dr. Ketterer uncovered. I'll let you know when it does. And of course, I'll continue investigating. I'm Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News.